Station, station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Amika Cowder. Research and technology development that will one day take us to Mars is happening every day aboard ISS. And this week, NASA teams also focused on the next big step on our journey, the first flight test of NASA's next generation spacecraft, Orion. The first uh, vehicle since Apollo that's going to leave low Earth orbit, and it's a, a thrilling prospect when you think about actually exploring the solar system. For the latest Orion updates, visit nasa.gov slash Orion. A new technology demonstration has taken off from the station's exterior. The Cyclops platform in the Japanese Experiment Module Airlock was used to deploy this special purpose inexpensive satellite, or SpinSat. Investigators aim to test the 22-inch diameter satellite's movement and positioning in space using new technology microthrusters. SpinSat will provide atmospheric drag data that scientists can use in their studies of space weather which affects satellites and telecommunications here on Earth. And this week, Anthony wants to know if oxygen is generated on board ISS. Well, Anthony, yes it is. Station oxygen is generated with a system that uses recycled water produced by the crew. As a normal part of human respiration, carbon dioxide is released into the station's atmosphere, and the Carbon Dioxide Removal Assembly, or CEDRA, which crew members worked on this week, uses desiccant and sorbent beds to remove it. Make sure to keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.